from Kampot in Cambodia. We have officially left Vietnam. Yesterday we left from Phu Quoc and we got the ferry across to the Kampot border. Didn't bother filming anything because honestly there was nothing worth filming. We basically got off the ferry, had to get a bus to the Cambodian border and then we bought our visa for Cambodia. The visa cost 35 US dollars. After we left the border we got on another bus and we got dropped here to our hostel. Apparently Kampot has become a place where a lot of like backpackers have ended up staying and working and living. It's pretty quiet here, we're quite out from the city centre. Today we woke up, got some breakfast and we just hired a bike. We've sort of been driving around to try and find a SIM card which seems to be an impossible task here so far. We did eventually manage to find one. This is our most expensive SIM yet. We've actually paid eight US dollars for a one month SIM. It's not unlimited data, it is a hundred gigabytes for the month which should get us through but I do prefer when we can get unlimited. Anyways, I suppose this is the start of the Cambodia vlog. See what we get up to over the next few days here in Kampot. Oh, That's yes. one leg. It's leg. <laughs> you have to go both legs at a time. What? Go both legs at a time. Did that hurt you? No. Oh, yeah, you drank all the <laughs> <laughs> Oh! Hey, bro. You might have to watch that because I was staring. Uh, anyways, this is our room for the night. So, what does £6.50 a night get you in Cambodia, you ask? So, you get this mosquito net here. Yep. Anyway, we have this oscillating fan here. Then come up here. And then, so we have this bathroom here. Obviously, this keeps the mozzies out. Yep. And this bit up here as well. Yep. Yeah. 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 So, and then come into here. Come into here. Shower, toilet, which is good. Bum gun. Not that powerful, but that's the bum gun. Um, and then a sink, which is nice to have the sink separate from the toilet because I don't know if you saw our last one, but the sink was here on the toilet basin. And to get it to work, you Mosquito. Have to... Nice. And as soon as I'm just hold on. There we go. From here, but I won't jump from there. Ten hours. <laughs> So today is actually our last day here in Kampot. We've spent four days here now, but we haven't really filmed anything. It's been very, very super chilled here. I've loved the vibe of it, especially where we're staying at the moment, which is called The Hideaway. It's just super good vibes. We're really enjoying our time. This morning we got up and we hired the bike and then we went to get some breakfast in town. On our way back, we then also went to the train station to buy some tickets to Sinukville, which we're going tomorrow. And then from Sinukville, we're gonna get the ferry across to Koh Rong Island. I'm really, really really excited to go to Koh Rong Island. I think it's gonna be so much fun. I've just heard that people have said like they've had the best time of their lives there. So really looking forward to that. I think we're gonna give ourselves a good like week or so there just cause we've got plenty of time in Cambodia. So why not? So our plan right now is that we're gonna go and head over to Arcadia, which is basically the number one hostel here in Kampot for backpackers. It's quite an expensive hostel, hence why we didn't end up staying there, but it's meant to be really good for water activities cause they've got a slide. And one of those launch bags on the river as well, where you sit on it and somebody jumps and then you get launched off you get the idea so we're gonna head over there for a couple of hours now and uh yeah i guess if we get up to anything i'll show you what we do Oh my god.
So today we're traveling to the Koh Rong Islands. We're actually stopping first at Koh Rong Samlon. Samluen. I still haven't figured out how to say it. I feel like everyone out here says it differently. From Kampot, we basically ended up getting the train, which was about an hour and a half, maybe nearly two hours to Sinukville. The train ticket to get there was only $6, so really reasonable. And then we've just got to the border. We got a tuk-tuk between four of us, which cost $4 total. It's about a 20 minute walk, but oh my God, it is so hot today. We just could not fathom walking. We've just got here to the ferry port and then we paid 25 US dollars for a return ticket to the island on the ferry. So in total, we've paid 30 $31 for a return trip back to Sinukville whenever we come off the island as well. So it's actually not too bad. I think that's quite a reasonable price. If you went straight from your hostel on the bus, I know that that was about $30 to $35 as well. So actually it's probably about the same price and we do get the return off of the island as well. So we're just hanging around now and waiting for our ferry. I think the ferry is about an hour and it's supposedly a really horrible rocky journey. So we'll see how we get on with that. But with any luck, in a couple of hours, we'll be on Korong. Yeah. It's backpacker life, baby. Later. Chin Chin, my monkey, Shima monkey. monkey. Right, How strange, strange vibe. <laughs> 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 There's a lot of lizards around here. There's a lot, well, we've seen a lot of geckos. Look, there's a little gecko there. Um, so they always tell you when you're in the bathroom to look up. I haven't seen him blink once. I honestly wish that I'd started filming a little bit earlier today. Uh, we've just had one of the most backpacker experiences. We've just left the Mad Monkey at Koh Rong Samloen, and today we've been traveling over to Koh Rong, the other island. We got on a boat this morning. It took about 45 minutes to get here and then we got dropped. I would honestly say we got dropped maybe about 20 meters off of the shore. Fully chest height water, carry our bags, big, big bags on top of our heads and basically wade through the water to get to the shore. Bear in mind, we also were not dropped at our hostel. So now we're doing a trek through the jungle for 15 minutes to get to our hostel. I'm literally wearing a bikini, carrying my bags. Top tip, if you're traveling between islands, always wear your swim gear because you never ever know when you're gonna have to get in that water. Excuse the iPhone quality, but whilst I'm walking, maybe I should just update you on the last few days. We arrived at Mad Monkey three days ago on the Koh Rong Samluan. We decided to go there for our first Mad Monkey experience 
experience because my friend from school, Nim, she actually works there. She's been out here for a few months now. Honestly, three of the best days of my travels so far. I've really, really enjoyed Koh Rong so far. My guy up here interrupting my vlog. <laughs> it's honestly such a chilled island over there. So we basically got dropped to a pier when we arrived, which was about an hour's walk away from the pier that we needed to be on to get picked up by the boat to go to the hostel. We basically had to do a beach walk just like this for an hour with our bags, but we eventually got picked up by the boat and went to the Mad Monkey. We stayed there for three days in the end. I honestly just wish that we had vlogged more. Like there really wasn't a lot going on, but also at the same time, it was stuff that I wish I had filmed. Now we've come over to Koh Rong Island because there is a festival that happens every Saturday here on this island called Nestival. This whole vlog so far has just been a complete mixture of nothingness, but also at the same time, like a few memories here and there. So I do apologize. This is probably one of my worst videos so far. No organization skills at all, but I hope that you are enjoying my messy backpacker experience nonetheless. You know, it's got a mosquito in it. We have a fan and that's about it. We are team trying our nest. Show us your colours on the back. Beautiful. Work of art. Love it. Love it. Love it. And you're going to have to show mine. LSG. LSG. Come on. Always. Always. We're ready for Nestival? Ready. This is the vibe right now. Just waiting for the games to start. Should be good. supporting that thing. <laughs>
So since we've been out here, our holiday game has been Yahtzee. If you know, you know, it's basically just a dice game where you have to roll five dice and then look for the patterns in the dice. My grandparents taught me this when I was a kid and we've just become obsessed since we've been out here. Long story short, to get a Yahtzee, you have to get five of the same number. So it would be like five threes. They're pretty rare. I mean, obviously they happen from time to time, but like you don't really tend to get loads of them. In this one game, I have got four, four Yahtzees and Callum has got two. Between us in one game, we've had six Yahtzees, which is just mad. Some people will not care about this, but I just had to document this because this will never, ever happen again. I don't really know what is going on today. Today, just added up the scores. Total score, 603. Anyone who knows this game, you will be hopefully as shocked as I am at this score. Also note that I didn't have to cross anything off. I actually rolled everything on every go. This is a perfect score. And also I might have to frame this in my bedroom because I'm not sure this is ever going to happen again. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to another day on Koh Rong Island in Cambodia. Today we are going on a little snorkeling boat trip today and we're really excited. There's like a little island just off the coastline of where we are right now. There's about nine of us going. We're going with a group of boys that we met in Chiang Mai about two months ago who are now here on this island. We managed to get it all in all $13.50 each because there's a bigger group of us and that also includes dinner and like a barbecue later on. We're also hoping to see the bi bioluminous planktons which come out in the sea after the sunset which would be really really cool to see because they're like lit up in the water so fingers crossed we get to see those we'll uh, let you know how we get on this has been our everyday ritual since we've been out here smoothies in the morning can't go wrong can't go wrong And this is going to wrap up my Koh Rong and Koh Rong Sam Luen vlogs. We have had the most magical, chilled, relaxed, sociable 10 days here and we have loved every single minute of it. Thank you so, so much for watching if you have made it this far into the video. I feel like this one is going to be a little bit of a longer one because I've merged like 10 days together. We would highly, highly recommend anyone coming over to Koh Rong if you are ever in Cambodia. Even a couple of nights would have been long enough but we are so blessed that we had enough time that we could spend a whole week and then some. If you have enjoyed watching this video then please make sure to leave a thumbs up, leave a comment below and also subscribe to my channel if you have not already. For anyone new watching this video, I'm Lucy, this is my partner Callum, we are currently travelling Southeast Asia and vlogging our journey as we go. Thank you so much again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!